Hi, my name is Kayla Oniwo. I am a media personality, a radio host, and an all-time fun girl, okay? Um, so I'm live on Ndani's TV, Just Say It, and I'm here to rant. <laughs> okay, um, there are two things I want to rant about, okay? So I'm going to start from the first one. The first one I want to rant about is people who wear fake anything. Fake designers, fake, you know, fake bag, fake shoe, fake, you know, even fake makeup. If you are in that category, I know you're watching, just, just watch this video so I'll tell you why. So I think that, first of all, I mean, if you are even putting your money and paying for something that's fake, it says a lot about the person that you are. I know a lot of defenses are there. Eh, ah, me, I can't afford it, but you also want to wear luxury. Or, I mean, ah, me too, I want to be among. I mean, I, I can't even, why should I pay so much for luxury? Yes, I get it, I understand that. But do you know that most of the people who have built this brand have built it over the years to where it is so if you know that you don't want to key into it then don't buy it at all i mean you have so many options you have so many options that you can go for you build your brand your 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 um your luxury your taste you build it gradually there were times that i knew that i couldn't even afford to buy things that were luxurious i mean and i was just going for high street brands once you buy fake the one that even annoys me the most is people that actually wear the fake and pose off as and pose it off as, as real. That one even hurts my feelings. See, there's one brand, I mean Amoadi. Everybody is wearing it. If you own one and you know that you bought it. Do you know that the people who actually make this fake goods use it to do really bad things? Like the people who produce this fake, they use children, they tie them. They, they use like underage children to produce these things and then they sell it off to you at a lower price. Yes, they have been, they've been busted. Do you also know that they use the money that they get from, because obviously because it's fake, they sell more. They use it to actually fund heinous crimes, kidnapping, um, attacks, terrorist attacks. Just do your research. So are you really happy spending money to something like that? And then what are you, what's the reason why, do you know that some people can actually tell that you're wearing fake? If you wear a fake Rolex, for example, and you go to the airport and they catch you, they will classificate, they will classificate it and they will even destroy it. So why spend so much money? So it's not about buying a Rolex and putting diamonds on it. If they find out that it's fake, they'll throw it away. Why not just buy the real one? You can't even resell fake, guys. You can't even resell it. If you buy a real designer stuff, when you're tired of it, you can actually sell it and you can even sell it for much more money. But if you buy fake, you're just going to throw it away. What is the essence? And then why would you pay $150 for something that's fake? Because you don't want to buy it for $700. It's like Pennywise found foolish. Okay, I'm done here. You guys, please. It doesn't pay to wear fake. If you can't afford it, leave it. And where are the high street brands? I mean, look at me. I'm here today. I don't think I'm wearing one single designer stuff. And I still look fly. The second thing I want to talk about is phone etiquette. This one, I think everybody knows about it. A lot of people know about it. And some people who even complain about it are actually, Vic. they're actually the people who do it as well. <sighs> if you have access to somebody's number and you want to communicate, the first thing you need to do when you call somebody is introduce yourself, especially when you don't know the person. You can't call somebody on the phone and say, hi, I pick up the phone, I'm like, hello. And then you're like, hi, how are you doing today? And I'm like, um, I'm doing well. Okay, how is your body? How is the family? Uh, and then you're not introducing yourself. I don't know who you are. I don't have your number. When you call somebody, the first thing you want to do, as soon as the person says hello, you go, hello, my name is XYZ. I got your number from JFK and I want to DIY with you. Boom, go straight to the point. There's no time for familiarities, okay? Another thing I hate is, um, I want to rant about, is people who actually call you on video call and you guys are not cool. You meet somebody today, the next thing, the person is calling you on video call. Why are you calling me? Why? Why are we having a video conversation? I might be somewhere, I might not have my wig on, I might not even want to see your face. So why are we having that sort of conversation? So it, it's, it's just, I think that the video call is for business, but when it's for business, you must have informed the other party that you're having a video call so they prepare 
And if it's your friend, you know, you want to just call them, that's different, but not a complete stranger. You're video calling them. That doesn't make any sense. One more thing I want to rant about. Yes, this one. People who call you at odd times. I get it. I've gotten a job at 12 midnight, and that was because my mom said I should pick the call, and it was an emergency. But you cannot just call people at 11.30 p.m. and say you want to discuss business, especially when you don't even know the person at all. I think it's completely rude and it's just disrespectful. You know, don't do it. Wait till the morning. You can call at 10 a.m. in the morning or 9 a.m. in the morning or send a text beforehand. And don't call people back to back. Yes, when you call somebody the first time, the second time, the person doesn't pick up. Please, why are you calling back to back? Send a text. And if it's on you, send a text. It's urgent. I really need to speak to you now. Especially when the person doesn't have your number. Uh uh. You now just be calling, calling. It happened to me yesterday. Somebody was just, and I was on air. This was just calling me, calling me, calling me, calling. And he was a freaking delivery guy. And he was after, and he was outside my office. Why couldn't he go in and say, I want to speak to Kayla? <sighs> Please don't do it, guys. It's so simple. When you call, introduce yourself. Call someone doesn't pick up, send a text. Yes. As they say in yoga, you what? Let's, let's, come on guys. Let's breathe in because I finished ranting. So let's go. Yes. I feel so much better after saying it. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.